It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And coming up next, it's a cross-conference showdown. It's the Niners and the Bills. And it's kick it off next on Madden NFL 25. Known for some incredible wings and one of the league's most passionate fan bases. We're just outside of Buffalo at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. From up in the booth, Kate Scott, Brock Hewitt with you for this contest. And uh, pretty obvious what this one is framed around, right, partner? What do you think, the two quarterbacks? Uh, there you go, nailed it. The two quarterbacks who are both right now among some of the best in the NFL. Yeah, we know what they can do with their talent, right? We have seen their arm on display week after week, but how do they captain their offense and guide the ship when they're facing? Well, one of the few guys in the NFL on the other side who can match them throw for throw, it's going to be must-see TV. Here's Tyler Bass to get this one started. And off we go from Highmark Stadium. It's Debo Samuel with the return. And look at this return. And he brought this one almost to midfield before he's tackled. So here come the 49ers for their opening drive. And bringing them out, you cannot call him irrelevant ever again. Took his team to the Super Bowl last year. It's Brock Purdy. You know, Kate, people won't stop recognizing Brock Purdy as Mr. Irrelevant right at first. But they better start recognizing his game. He shed that label of his draft status to me long ago. He proved there is no fluke to his talent. He knows how to see it, how to feel it, how to deliver it, and most importantly, he knows how to elevate the people around him. One of the tight ends motioning right. Purdy setting up that play action. First play of the game, and already an incredible catch. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. This is one of those plays you're going to see on tape this week, I guarantee it. Not because of the catch, but because of the effort. Lays out and brings in the off-target throw. Ball on the 45, first and 10. From the gun is Purdy. This is reeled in by Juwan Jennings. And they get this down roughly to the 34-yard line. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. I know the combine tries to test everything it possibly can physically, but I don't know how you test courage at the combine because there's nobody defending you. Nobody wants to hit you. But that was the epitome of courage to make that in cut and make the catch. And this is down to the 28 before the defense halts it. Give him around six. That's going to make it second and four. The difference right there, Kate, between that gain and a big hit for a loss, some really quick decision making. He made a quick read, saw the running back was going to get hit if he handed it, and he pulls it himself for a positive game. The play clock ran all the way down there, and this is going to cost the offense. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Running back sent in motion. Working out of the gun. It's Purdy. That's brought in by Jennings. And they bring him down after the play reaches the 26. Short yardage situation here. It's third and two. Out of the shotgun. They'll give it to him inside. And the defense was ready. They got him at the line. No gain on the play. That brings up a tough decision for them on fourth down. You know, I'm not sure what else could have been done there, Kate. Just the right call defensively to come up with a third and short stop. Fourth down now, and on comes Jake Moody for the 49ers field goal. From the left hash, this would be 43 yards. Moody knocks it through. 
And the opening drive of the game ends in three points. You'd expect him to make most of those attempts from this distance, but it's never a lock. So they'll happily take this and finish off the drive with points. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. And the kickoff is into and then out of the end zone. Touchback. This drive starting from the 30. So here come the Bills for their opening drive. And leading them out is the seventh-year pro. Seems to be in the MVP conversation every year now. It's Josh Allen. We've seen a lot of big arms come and go in the NFL. Few translate that talent, though, into stardom quite like Josh Allen. It's fun for me on the college football road when I ask these young quarterbacks who they idolize, who they look up to, and just about every big guy that can run says the same thing, Josh Allen, because that skill set is so tantalizing. A player who can rip off a highlight real play with the pass and just as easy with the down in just about any situation. And he'll go down, and we'll say right at the 39-yard line. You get this big old dude like him in the slot, it's an automatic mismatch advantage. You train a little bit of speed, sure. But you sure do get a lot of size. And anytime he's in the slot, you got to assume the ball's going his way. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. First tone of the game for James Cook. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. An offensive group really hoped he was going to get it all right there, reset it back to first down. But instead, the defense, well, they're not going to let anything come easy. And their fight has given them a chance to stall things out on a third and short. One yard, all that's needed. This is third and inches. Shakir sent in motion left. And he's going to go down right along midfield strike. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. That kind of call right there, Kate, it shouldn't be the third down surprise it used to be 5, 10, 15 years ago. So common in teams' playbooks league-wide. But, boy, is it tough to defend. And that's why they love breaking it out to reset those chains. They'll come up first and 10. Now Allen. It's Keon Coleman. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. They get 27 on the play. And that's good for a Bills first down. You know what I like about that, Kate? I like that they're not coming out slow. They're willing to go with some looks here that will yield big yardage down the field instead of just settling for dinking and dunking the ball. Shotgun handoff now to Cook. And he scampers ahead and gets two on the carry. Hey, we know running the ball in the NFL is hard, and that play pretty indicative of it. Here's the key, though. At the end of the game, those type of plays got to be in the minority, and the majority have got to do some damage. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Slot receiver headed left. Second and eight. Connection made to Coleman. And he's got it inside the 15 before going out. Kate, one thing I learned from the late, great Mike Leach is, yeah, the system was called Air Raid, but it wasn't just attacking downfield. His philosophy, and it played out right there, is you have to attack every inch of the field, both vertically and horizontally, without routes or in routes, just like that. Allen on third and two. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. You know, it sure seems like he knew exactly where he was going with that before the snap. That's a pre-snap decision that led to a post-snap first down. They've set themselves up well for an opening drive touchdown here. Brock gets first and goal. Working from the gun, it's Allen. He brings it in, and he drives this forward to the six.
It's second and goal. To the air again, Allen. The back grabs it. Translatable skills, that's what you call it. So effective as a runner, but those same traits that make him a great runner, adept at getting those yards, well, he translates it now as a receiver in the open field. Buckle up, it's third and goal. To throw again, it's Allen. Buys top. And he will score! Touchdown, Buffalo! The Bills finish off their opening drive. Josh Allen, the touchdown! Wow, great work there by the quarterback. The play broke down, didn't really have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise, and in the end brought the best call he could have made. Yeah, and you can do it in different ways in today's NFL, right? The, the Tom Brady's just recently retired. He did it with his brain. He did it with his mind, but you've got to be able to improvise, as you said. you got to be able to create when a play breaks down, and when you can put six on the board, man, does that infuse your offensive group with confidence. Extra point up and good from Bass. And the Bills one up the opposing field goal. They start with seven on their opening drive. Bass now to kick this away. Returning it from the four. And this drive will start inside the 25. Second drive coming up for this 49ers offensive unit. And they settled for a field goal on their last series. So points are a positive, but they'll look to upgrade to a touchdown here. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Shotgun snap for Purdy. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. I think if you look up in phase in the defensive encyclopedia, that is a picture-perfect form of it. He was all over him in coverage, really forcing the incompletion. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. Purdy to throw it. Reeled in by George Kittle. And he'll take it up to the 30 before being brought down. So before they can set up for another play, we've hit the end of the first quarter. 7-3 is our score. We'll return to Highmark Stadium in just a moment. We're back, and it's 49ers football as we resume. They'll have it third and three. On third and short, McCaffrey. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. It's a gain of only one yard. That's going to leave him with a fourth and two. The 49ers are lined up in punt formation. And no doubt he wants a good start for himself here in prime time. He's got this at the 27. And he's going to get a modest amount on that return before he ends up out of bounds. It's a 54-yard punt that time. And the Bills will take over possession. They've got first down from the 31. From the shotgun, it's Allen. 
Throwing the out route complete. Pickup of 12 on that play. And that's good for a Bills first down. Kid, I can't tell you how good that is. Anticipating the outcut, having the ball on the way before the receiver's head even turns, he puts it on him so that receiver can easily get out of bounds for the nice game. First down throw for Allen. And his perfect start is over. And that's the first one of his throws to wind up incomplete. You know, it's tough to succeed a linebacker in most defenses if you can't hold your own in coverage. They rely on you to break up throws just like that and take some of the stress off the secondary. Couldn't connect on first. It's second down. Back to the air. Allen. He finds Kincaid. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. That play gains 15, and it moves the sticks. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a big, trustworthy tight end in the passing game. Such great size to have, and he forces those defenses to find a way to try to match up when they can't. They'll head up first and 10 from the 42. Again, Allen to the air. Gets this to Kincaid. And he's going to be taken down a yard shy of the 25. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. You'll often hear it said, in my life experience, it's true. The NFL is a game of matchups, so much more than any level. And these tight ends, we see it time and again, are such a matchup nightmare down the field. Shakir in motion right. Allen going to throw again. Connects with Cook. And he takes it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. The Bills now lead by 10. It's a James Cook touchdown. To rock this offense, looking sharp here in the first half as they extend their lead. You know, and when things are going well, sometimes you really just get into a groove. And this is a unit that's putting the pieces together. Bass on for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Rams drive their lead to 11. Bass now to kick this away. Samuel now to return it. He's brought down at what looks like the 24-yard line. The San Francisco offense headed out to take over. It's a 14-3 ball game as they take over following the score. drive will start out with a first and ten. Now Purdy finds him over the middle. And he'll go down after fighting his way to the 32. You know, they say you never go broke taking a profit. Just find that completion. And it may not be a Benjamin, but even those little dollar bills start to add up. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. They'll run here from the gun. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. Kate, it's amazing how fast these guys are on the field and how fast your fortunes can turn. Second and short run, you're feeling good about yourself. With a negative play, well, now comes a critical third down. Chance to move the chains here on third and four.
Here's Purdy to throw. To the sideline it goes. He makes the play. Pass caught. Both feet are down. Give him 15 yards on the pickup there. And that's a 49er first down. They were in this 12-yard out route, Kate, at the Combine. Well, all the way back to last century when I had to throw it. In this throw, this is a big boy throw. This is different. Well, Sean McDermott didn't like that call. We can tell. He's got the challenge flag out. So what we're all looking for here, did he secure the catch and maintain it while also getting both feet down? Yeah, this is why it's a perfect look. This is why teams scout body control and field awareness for these pass catchers. For moments like this, he did not have much margin mm -hmm. for error, and it happens oh so fast. All right, so that challenge is unsuccessful, but still a chance to earn a third one if their next challenge leads to an overturn call. New set of downs for him from the 46. On first and ten, it's McCaffrey. And it's going to be about three-yard pickup in the end. Tackle made by Cole Bishop. Give him a few yards on that run. It's second and seven. You know, they got some positive yards. That's a good thing. But too many plays like that, it just is too hard to pile together, get first downs, it gets the better defenses in this league. They kick the running back in motion. Here's second and seven. Right side, and that's secured by Kittle. And they're going to haul him down just shy of the 40. They come through with a nice gain there. Gain of 10, first down. Sure nice to see them looking for their tight ends in the passing game. Such great size to have out there. It really forces defenses to try to find a way to defend them along with everybody else. They'll empty the backfield and motion him out. First down throw by Purdy. That's going to be an incomplete pass on the throw to the right. That is normally a gimme for this offense, these short throws. But the defense, well, they had just enough influence on that play to force the incompletion. So after the incompletion, here comes the second down call. Running back sent in motion. Back to the air on second, Purdy. On target to his back, here's Christian McCaffrey. And he's able to get this to the 32 before going down. The goal of that little drag route is to get him for at least a minimal gain with space to add after that. That picked up a good chunk, and it was nearly a big play. Third and a lone yard coming up. McCaffrey running between the tackles. And they take him down right along the 30. A pickup of two, maybe three, but most importantly, Brock, that's enough to move the sticks. Win the early battle. Get a little leverage. Low man wins off the line, and that's all that was needed to ensure that first down right there. First and ten now from the 30. Pretty gets this from the pistol. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. Not on the same page with his tight end. And now it's second down. Well, you certainly want those throws to be automatic. Every team, if you're going to be efficient, you've got to hit those passes in the short to intermediate zone to effectively move the ball in this league. They kick the running back in motion. Purdy now on second and ten. That throw finds Kittle. Good little rip there. Looks like about six. Making the stop that time. Taron Johnson. That can be a hopeless feeling when you fire a curl route right into zone coverage perfectly like that. Unless that curl happens to be right next to where one of your guys is sitting, that pass can hum in there and there's nothing this defense can do. It's the two-minute warning now from Highmark. And it's the 49ers looking at third and four. Gun is Purdy. 
caught him deep behind the line. Oh, the ball is out. And this is scooped up by the Bills. The 30. He's at the 10. And Buffalo will take this one back for the touchdown. The Bills vote racing them to the halftime locker room. Great time to bring some extra pressure off that snap. And that made all the difference in getting that fumble and the defensive score. I could hear it in your voice. I think you saw it coming. I saw it coming. I uh -huh. think even the crowd saw it coming. Yep. That quarterback did not see that blitz coming. And boy, did it pay dividends. Basson for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Bills push their lead to 18. Nice little energy on their sideline after that fumble return scored. And with plenty of energy, he'll send this one away. Return coming from the six. And pretty solid field position starting out here, Brock. He's tackled at the 29. But we've already seen some nice plays here, and we're going to see plenty more before this game ends. But you might be thinking, with plays like that, my guy's ratings should be better. Well, you're not alone. You got a chance to let the Madden ratings hotline know just what you're thinking. Give them a call. 1-844-MADDEN-1 and make your case for who should get a boost. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Pretty throwing here on first. Makes the grab in bounds left side. And they'll be at midfield here as he gets out of bounds. It's a gain of 21 yards to pick up that first down. You know I love those chunk completions. They're so critical. Those chunk plays, they lead statistically so often to scoring. And then when you get it to a tight end and play action, it's just a little icing on the cake. Purdy on first down. He's on the move. And they get to him as he was trying to make something happen. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. Into the hands of Samuel, complete. And he'll be out of bounds at his own 45. Defense looking to defend the marker on third down. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. That's brought in by Jennings. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. Well, third and 15, you don't see many of those picked up, partner, but they found a way. From a great throw to a nice route and catch to moving the chains. There wasn't a whole lot not to like about that amazing play. Here's first and 10 from the 34. They'll motion him out of the backfield. Kittle brings it in. And he gets down to the 24 before he stopped. We get a timeout here taken by the 49ers. That's going to be their first. They'll have two left to work with before halftime. In a good spot here, second and inches. They send a tight end in motion. Purdy setting up that play action. To the left side and reeled in by Kittle. And he gets this down to the 13-yard line. 
San Francisco calls its second timeout. And they still have one in their pocket for what's left of this half. They have themselves another first and ten. From the red zone now. Nabs along that sideline, Samuel. And it looks like he went out of bounds right at that seven-yard line. Kid, I promise you, if you and I got to travel the country and watch young quarterbacks, even really good high school quarterbacks, out routes are the hardest to complete. Slants, goes, fades, all that stuff comes somewhat naturally. But really trusting yourself to throw that out route, that comes with time and experience. To throw again, it's Purdy. Not enough on this throw. It hits the turf instead of his man. Couldn't find Debo Samuel on that throw. And now they need to get four on third down. Hey, Kate, I know it's unrealistic to expect a 100% completion rate from anywhere on the field. But in this close, you really shouldn't be missing too many throws. Those need to be borderline automatic. A tight end in motion now. Third and short. Here's Purdy. And got his man. That's a San Francisco touchdown. The 49ers chop some of the lead off before the half. All right, partner, what do you think? Was that a design read, or did he just see space and he was reacting more on the old quarterback instinct there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think yes on both of them. And that play happens so fast that it really is instincts on both sides. Jake Moody on for the PAT. The point after splits the uprights. And the 49ers make it an 11-point ball game. to kick it away. Here's Moody. So new kickoff rules. This is going to come out to the 30, not the 25 on the touchback. Beginning a new drive here, but just 16 seconds to go before halftime. Yep, as expected, they go to the ground to start this one off. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. Brought down by Fred Warner. No gain there that time, and it's second and ten. It's halftime here in Buffalo. The Bills with the lead after two. Now it's down to Florida, where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Kate, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bills were led in the first half by their all-world quarterback, Josh Allen. He had a touchdown both in the air and on the ground to help push his guys into the lead at the break. These two teams heading out of the tunnel. and We're ready to get back to it. For the call of the second half, here is the great Kate T. Scott. Okay. As always, a hat tip to Coach for his hard work during the break as we're happy to welcome you all back for the start of our third quarter. Out to kick it away. Here's Moody. Ty Johnson now to return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Bills and James Cook making their way back out on offense now. And he finds himself across an important benchmark for yards this season after that last drive. He stayed pretty busy this season, and the numbers show just that.
drive starts out with a first and ten. Now the shotgun give to Cook. Gets it ahead, has about five yards. Tackle made by Jair Brown. Give him five on that carry, bringing up second and five. Some backs are easier to tackle than others. Some, well, they just choose violence. They look for those opportunities to bust through tackles and keep those legs pumping. Halfway to the marker, it's second and five. From the 32, Cook calls it in. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped on his own side at the 49. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. Year after year, the best offenses are multifaceted. It's not just the receivers or the tight ends that can make plays through the air. When you get running backs that can attack the middle of the field like that, man, is it difficult on a defense. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Straight ahead, here's Cook. And he's able to get it past midfield and down onto the 49er side. Halfway there on first down, that brings up second and five. The humble five to six yard gain on the ground, not a huge gain, not a game changing play by any means, but one that keeps you on schedule and takes some of the starch out of that front seven. Again, it's Cook. And he's able to take this up pretty close to that 40 yard line. It's a gain of five, and he's just short. So that's third and less than a yard. Fans love the long ball in baseball. It's like they got the home run derby. But you know what? Talk to managers, and they will tell you small ball can win, too. Singles and doubles, you add them up, you could win a lot of baseball games. Football coaches will tell you, you get runs of that length. It may not be a home run. It may not score points, but it can do some serious damage. Toward the sideline, and he's got it. It's a 24-yard gash, and it gives them the first down. Wow, certainly found the weak spot in coverage with that catch. Really goes to show they trust every single player, receiver, running back, in that case, tight end, to be a playmaker in this offense. He brings the offense up now for a first and ten. They've got a man in motion. Working inside the red zone. Pass brought in by Amari Cooper. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. Didn't get that one off in time. This is going to be a delay of game. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Offense to the line for second down. Running it after the penalty. And he's able to rip off a chunk of red zone yardage to the 10. That's going to go down as a gain of seven. Now they're going to have third and two. Well, that doesn't net a first down. You get yards like that in the run game, you will take it in the NFL. Third and just two to go. Working from the gun, it's Allen. The throw is caught. And this one does not go far. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like a putt. You got it online, you feel good about it, it's going in the hole, but you never want to leave it short. Offense staying out there, it's fourth and one. Cook trying this one up the gut. And he'll go down shy of the end zone, they mark him at the four. They hit him for five yards on fourth down and get the successful conversion. He easily had the yardage for a first, but he was hungry for a lot more. I think that tackle prevented something that was going to be a lot bigger than just a first down pickup. 
From the shotgun, it's Allen. Has it in close. And in, touchdown, Buffalo. No hesitation on that throw. He got the guy he wanted right away, and he got it to him for the touchdown. You know, it's great, Kate, to draw plays that have all sorts of different options, but it's even better when you don't have to get to your second read. His first broke open just like they planned, and that's six in the end. Basson for the extra point. Right down the middle, it's good. And the Rams push their lead to 18. Bass now to kick this away. Has this at the six. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. The 49ers headed back out on offense as we get another look at Brock Purdy. They're out and set. First and ten. They'll start the second half with McCaffrey. And this almost ended worse, but he gets a yard out of it. Christian Benford up to make that stop. Manages just a yard on first down. Now it's going to be second and nine. You know, not a ton of yards, but still showing that commitment to the ground game. The type of run that keeps the defense from loading up in coverage and focusing entirely on that passing game. On second down, here's McCaffrey. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. A gain of about three, so a third of what they needed. Third and six coming up. When you don't have great success on first down, Kate, it's a little bit like a hitter in baseball falling behind in the count. And all you want to do as a hitter is get back to a fighting chance. Give yourself a better count. That play, well, it does the same here. Now a much more manageable and opportune third down situation. They don't get this snapped in time. This is going to back them up. Everyone was set and at the line. The quarterback just didn't snap it before the play clock hit zero. Penalty not helping their cause for this third down. Shotgun snap for Purdy. And he just gets rid of this one, but unfortunately, that means fourth down coming up. So often, so many of these games in the NFL, well, they come down to a play or two, and third down's critical. Whether it's in a close game or already out of hand, their coach wants to see them convert those. They're up now, ready to punt it. He has it at the 33. And he's brought down before the return gets far. Call that a booming 56 yards in the end. And they'll get ready to go on offense. All right, excellent field position for the Bills as they set up first and ten. Operating from the gun, it's Allen. This will be caught by Cooper. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that's good for a Bills first down. 
takes a certain level of fearlessness, craziness to work over the middle of the field in this league. You're fighting through guys as you go, and all the while you know you could take a lick at any time. Markers reset, ball at the 37. So early movement from the backfield, Brock. They've jumped the gun a bit, and that brings out the flag. It was a blitz coming, and that got somebody to panic and jump early. It cost him five yards. They're set back five by that false start. Now 15 yards to the marker. They'll run here following the penalty. He's only going to manage to get back to the line. Brought down by Fred Warner. They don't get anything on first, and now they face second and 15. You want to see the term read and react with a little video in the football dictionary? That's it. All right, here we go. Second down. Slot man in motion right. Second and 15. Connection made to Coleman. And he's able to get this down to the 36. It's third and eight. Need to get a chunk here. Throwing from the gun. Kincaid there to bring it in near the sideline. And he nearly gets to the 25 before going out. They come through with a nice gain of 10 and a first down. That's a pro's pro right there. That is one. Well, the officials are going to have to take another look at this one. Kyle Shanahan's challenging that call. Well, we're going to see how much of a sideline maven he is, Brock. This one very close, whether he got the feet down or not. And I'm so impressed by all these mavens, because you've got to make that <laughs> transition from college, where one foot, you're yep, good. Yep. But not at this level. You've got to be a ballerina. You've got to get those toes both in, and the replay booth will be the judge of it. So the challenge ends up successful. He, in fact, did not get both feet in. This is incomplete. The Bills will turn to their kicker, Tyler Bass, for the field goal try. Ball spotted on that right hash, 53 yards out. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And that stretches the lead to 21. A lot of them may make it look automatic, but you get this deep, and those field goals are far from a certainty. It took all this concentration, every bit of his strength, to send that puppy through. Bass now to kick this away. Samuel now to return it. This return makes it up to the 25. Chance here for one final play before the end of the quarter. They'll start this one on the ground with McCaffrey. And he stopped, so that's going to take us to the end of the third. Three quarters in the books from this one. It's 49ers football as we enter the fourth of what's been a largely one-sided game. Let's see what they want to do here, partner. It's second and inches. Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this complete to Jennings. And they'll take him down at the 43-yard line. And that play goes for eight yards, and it keeps this drive moving. There's no question the greatest concern there was just getting the first down. You want a high-percentage throw, and you're not really concerned about big yards. Well, the drag route was perfect. 
He comes open the short field. It's easy to zip that throw right in there and reset those chains. Pretty throwing here on first. And a man is there to knock that away. That's just simply great positioning to swat the ball away. He stayed in a spot where he could disrupt the throw before the target and make a play on it. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. From the gun is Purdy. That's caught in stride by McCaffrey. And he made a bid for midfield there, but stopped at his own side at the 49. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Third and four coming up now. Running back sends in motion. That's taken in by Samuel. And he's brought down after pushing to that 35-yard line. It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. The smartest pass catchers I've ever been around, they know how to set up an outcut beautifully. They recognize when they have leverage, how to sell the deep route, and then boom, they just break it out as if it's nothing. They'll empty the backfield and motion him out. Makes the grab in bounds, left side. And he's out of bounds, just inside the red zone. The big play nets him 17 yards. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. That's just a gorgeous corner route by the wide receiver. I bet you'll find Kate in the annals of... Well, Sean McDermott didn't like that call. We can tell he's got the challenge flag out. We're all watching that sideline here, seeing where those feet came down. And no matter what they rule here, Kate, that was an outstanding effort just to make the catch. Yeah. Now we got to look and see, did he get both feet in with possession? No change to the call on the field, so the challenge fails. And they can no longer challenge anything the rest of the way. They'll come up first and ten. Trying an inside give now with McCaffrey. And this play reaches the 12-yard line before the stop is made. He managed six on the play, bringing up second and four. That does not show up on any explosive stat sheet, but let me tell you, Kate, that's the real deal right there. You run for that kind of yardage consistently in the NFL, you do set yourself up for success. Back to McCaffrey on second down. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. And the Bills bring it out an extra defensive back, third down coming up. Putting the tight end in motion. Looking to throw on third and one. Complete beyond the marker. Touchdown, San Francisco! It seems like a lot of the time, Brock, even if the results aren't quite as flashy every rep, tight ends are even more reliable scores than a lot of receivers are when it comes to the passing game. Yeah, I would agree with that, but there's also a lot more real estate for them to work mm. with, right? Think of the receivers. they got to deal with the sidelines, that 12th defender. Many of these tight ends, they've got a ton of field to work with, and when they prove to the quarterback they can be a difference maker, he'll look for them. P.A.T. up and good for Moody. And the 49ers get it back to a 14-point game. to kick it away. Here's Moody. 
Johnson now on the return. And in the end, he's able to get it to what used to be a touchback. It's at the 25 after the return. Now we've got the Bills offense headed back to the field. And taking a look at these highlights, Brock, just a reminder of the type of game that they have had throwing the football. It really has been the key to their success. Yeah, they've just not only stayed on schedule here, Kate. Man, they've made some music, right? Great mm. rhythm. Yeah. Not just ahead of schedule, but huge plays have followed. We've seen a lot of different looks and wrinkles throughout this performance, and it's been a joy to watch. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Now it's Cook. And he found some running room for a nice game. Give him nine yards. He almost moved the chains there. It's going to be second and one. I'm not kidding you, Kate. A run of that length at the NFL level, honestly, is the equivalent of a run of 15-plus at the high school level. It's hard in the run game to make yards. And they just got a very successful one. Now Allen off the play action. Coleman with the grab. And this one's brought to a halt at about the 36-yard line. Two yards on the pickup. And that's good for a Bills first down. Out of the gun, he'll look to throw. He's got the hook up to Cooper. And they'll make the stop up at the 46-yard line. Options are open here. It's second and inches. Allen on the play action. He finds Kincaid. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That's going to pick up the first down after a gain of 26. I think my favorite part was the magic he worked after the catch. The way he took the completion and made so much more out of it by adding all the extra yardage. He brings the offense up now for a first and 10. They'll run it with Cook. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. Back to the line they go. It's second down. They're just going to let the clock run out and take this delay. Must have lost sight of the play clock there, Brock, because the quarterback could have snapped it in time, but instead, they take the penalty. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Another one for Cook. And he rips off good yardage, but it will not move the chains. I got to really rack my brain, Kate, to remember a play, a run in this league that nice that doesn't end up getting an offense the first down. He did all he could to will this drive forward. All plays on the table here for third and three. Here's Allen. Cook near the pylon. They rip off a big chunk of field, and it sets him up with first and goal. Well, that one was drawn up and delivered beautifully, efficiently. If it's not circled on the call sheet already, you better believe it is now. All right, one more snap before the two-minute warning. It's a sweep. He pumps the pass forward. And he runs it across. Touchdown! The Bills have likely locked up the win right there.
Bassa on for the extra point. Extra point sent right down the middle. And the Bills stretch their lead to 21. Bass now to kick this away. Samuel now to return it. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. So here come the 49ers on offense. And this a final opportunity to make things a little closer in that final score. They'll get this drive started. First and ten. Working out of the gun, it's Purdy. Has him on the quick hitter. And he's up to the 35-yard line as they reel him in. Now after making that catch, we see he's shaken up. Trainer's heading out to take a look. Second and three now. They kick the running back in motion. No one open, so he chucks this to another county. You really want those throws to be like clockwork for your offense. Every team needs to hit passes in that short to intermediate range to effectively move the ball. So after that prior incompletion, we've got third down. Now it's Purdy. That's caught for the first. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. That chunk worth a nice 21 yards. And that's a 49er first down. Offense hurrying to the line with the clock running. To throw again, it's Purdy. Short pass brought in. And this one's worked down to the 33 before being stopped. San Francisco calls it second timeout. And they can take a moment to try to build more momentum after getting the first. Ball at the 33 for first down. Looking to throw, Purdy. Dumps it off to his running back. They get an even 10 on that play. And it brings up a San Francisco first down. At that down and distance, this group was pretty confident the screen would get them enough yards for the first, and it did. And so long as it keeps working like that, I bet you it'll be a go-to play for them when they need it the next time. All set up now for first and ten. Now they send their back in motion right. First down throw by Purdy. Pearsall on the slant. And they get this down to the ten-yard line before going down. Give him 13 on that play. And that's a 49er first down. Boy, they sure found the right route at the right time to hit the soft spot in that coverage. And that slant, it goes for big yardage. They've got to keep moving quick here. And he makes the catch. Did he get both feet in? No. Oh, so close to six. Incomplete. Well, he had the space from the defender and the concentration to make a great catch. What he didn't have was enough end zone real estate. That's just a very, very exciting incompletion. Purdy now on second and ten. This one's caught. And this one's stopped at the three-yard line. 
The 49ers will call their third and final timeout. And now they're powerless to stop that clock with a timeout at least. All plays on the table here for third and three. Shotgun snap for Purdy. And he will score. Touchdown, San Francisco. The 49ers get it back to within two possessions. George Kittle, the touchdown. His second scoring catch of the game. When you reach the status that he has around the league, Brock, well, we all at this point expect him to be making plays like this when he's targeted down near the end zone. Yeah, I think the best thing I can say about this dude is he makes it look easy a lot of the time. And this game, trust me, is never easy. It speaks to how well he plays this position. Moody knocks that extra point through. And the 49ers get it back to a 14-point game. You know, time making this all but impossible, but they're going to try for the onside kick here anyway. Oh, the 49ers are saying they have it. It looks like they do. Well, still a risky call, but a little less so than normal given that field position. Wonder if that emboldened them to try it, partner, and in turn, get the ball back successfully. I think that's exactly what it did. Easier to stomach an onside attempt to take that kind of risk with that field position, that penalty. Boy, did it prove costlier than just the yardage. It ends up costing them a chance to possess the ball, too. That one's cut along the left sideline. And he takes it across the 30 before heading out. A big play, 23 yards to move those chains. It was such a privilege for me to watch Marvin Harrison and Reggie Wayne in person in Indianapolis do their work. Daryl Jackson out in Seattle. They showed how great a deep out is as a chain-moving play. It's all about getting that leverage at the top of the route and then exploiting the leverage as that ball arrives on time downfield. Give him 11 yards, Brock, and a fresh set of downs. Kate, if there was one throw in the game plan that kept me up at night more than any other, it was an out route versus zone coverage. Because you got to throw with anticipation, but you also got to make sure those defenders' eyes aren't reading you like a book. Here he is to throw. This time they're going to get there, and they drop it. And the big play drives them backwards. Second down coming up. So the roar of Bills Mafia. It's a win for their guys in Buffalo. And it was a game for fans of high-scoring football, wasn't it? I know Brock was enjoying seeing both of these offenses work, and really not a lot to dislike from either group. Just one side working at a slightly better clip than the other. That was the difference in the win. So that puts a bow on this one for my partner Brock Heward and everyone involved on our crew. I'm Kate Scott signing off. This has been another presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Bills, as we say so long from Buffalo.